Hey everyone, in this video, I'll be showing you how to set up Postgres on your local system through Docker. Docker gives you a way to very easily set up something like Postgres on your system for toy applications or for general practice. My recommendation would be to use Docker to set up Postgres as many number of times that you want so that you can play around with Postgres and learn it better. So to start off, make sure that you have Docker installed. I'll be giving a few links in the description which you can follow to set up Docker based on your system. Once Docker is set up, ensure that it is running. After that, open up a terminal. Over there, you can run this command docker run dash it dash p 5432 colon 5432 dash e postgres password. I'm setting it to random password, my secret password right now, and the name of the image. Let me just quickly explain what these things mean. Basically, what this means, I'm running the ready made uh, image for postgres dash it means that whatever uh, happens on the running of the image would come as a terminal output to the current terminal. Dash P means the port inside the container, which is 5432, is mapped to the port uh, 5432 of the system. And dash E is used to set up environment variables. And for setting up uh, the environment variable uh, for this image, we'll be using my secret password. Let me press enter. As you can see, once you get this log, database system is ready to accept connections. Your database is set up. I'll also give a link in the description for you to install psql. Or you might not want to use psql. You can use any other database client. Right now, your Postgres database is exposed on localhost 5432. I'll show you how to connect to it via psql. Once we have opened up the new terminal, we'll use this command psql dash h localhost dash capital U Postgres. Once you click on enter, it'll ask us for the password. We'll use the password that we have set. My secret password. Enter. And your terminal would open up. Now you can use slash D to select the tables that you have created. You can use a select query to select from one of the tables. And so on. Remember, Docker keeps the containers alive till you remove it. Open up Docker desktop, stop the instance and remove it if you want. If you want it running, all of them do. Thank you.